All right, so this is my 1949 Chevrolet 3100 pickup when I first got it back in January of 2019, so almost a year ago. It looked pretty junky when I got it, but uh, it had basically everything I needed to be able to turn it into what I wanted to turn it into, which was a lawn truck. It came with this engine from a 1994 Camaro that's fuel injected and it was also sitting on a 1994 s10 chassis so it has modern day suspension i did add this magnaflow dual exhaust and also added these leaf spring helpers to the leaf springs to increase how much weight i could put in the bed and so the bed doesn't sag down when there is weight in it um, to tow a trailer needed a trailer hitch obviously so i had to add that in as well the, the brakes would hardly stop when I got the truck, so I had to add new rotors and brakes because the rotors were just shot. Um, here's where I started painting and priming the truck. Um, as you can tell, I didn't do any body work. That's why you could see some dents there. I just didn't think body work uh, was necessary on this truck because you know it's a work truck for one and two. These old trucks look kind of cool when, they, when they're kind of beat up. It kind of adds character to the truck. Where the body work was done, like here on the hood, it looks great. You can't even tell that I use, uh, you know, spray paint, Rust-Oleum spray paint on this. Anybody who sees it, they don't know that it's spray painted. Yeah, it turned out really good. I'm, I'm really happy with it. And here's the paint that I used. This is what I used for the white, canvas white. And this is just regular orange Rust-Oleum that I use for the orange. Also, after I painted it, I did clear coat it. Spray Max 2K Clear Glamour. You know, why do they have to call it glamour? Anyway, this is the clear coat that I use. And you see that, that red part? You actually take that off on the lid and you stick it in the bottom. You put the red part right here, you hit it down in there, and it shakes up the hardener that's inside this clear coat. The hardener is gonna allow this to cure more quickly, provide weather and UV protection so it won't fade, and also chemical protection in case I spill gas on it, it's not gonna ruin my paint. Back here is where the body work wasn't done. Check out this cinder, man. The rust. I mean, it's just, it's, I mean, you can see through it. This is actually a license plate that's kind of half ass welded on there or riveted on there. Why? I don't know. It was like that when I got it. The guy I got it from had done some questionable things to this truck, wouldn't we'll say that. It definitely looked better online. <laughs> don't ever buy a car if you haven't seen it. I don't have an air conditioner in this truck just yet, but hopefully I can get one by next summer. It does get hot in here, but there's this vent here. So that vent opens up and this vent actually opens up here like that. It's not a manual, that's just, that's an automatic. That's just where the shifter is, floor shifter there. These seats are bucket seats out of the 2017 Infinity something. It was a car and the car had 2000 miles on them, on it, on the car. and. Uh, the car was wrecked. These seats were pulled out from it. Brand new seats. This toolbox, it just has a couple edger blades and things like that in there. It's not really much in there, actually. Uh, the driver's side here. I did put on this, this kill mat. It's like, uh, it's like the cheap version of dyno mat. I got it off of Amazon and I put it under the carpet and stuff and that helped a lot with the road noise because it was just metal. This steering wheel I think is kind of cheesy, but it's whatever, it was in here. It was in here when I bought the truck, so. I got the windshield, all the windows actually uh, are tinted with ceramic window tint, which really helps keep the heat from getting in. It was expensive, but uh, it helps a lot. I was pretty surprised, especially with no AC. It really helps keep it cooler in here. All right, starting on the passenger side here, I keep my edger and trimmer. I do have them on the Equipment Defender trimmer rack. I really like this rack. It's worked great. Um, I looked at the green touch racks, but I just didn't want the bright green on this truck. So I went with Equipment Defender. 
the edger. I'm running the PE230. Not the most powerful edger, but it definitely gets the job done. And I did add this um, Gator edger blade. I, I found them on Amazon. They actually work pretty good, especially with uh, like overgrown edges. You don't have to go like back and forth with the edger so much like you normally would with a, a regular edger blade. But it, it does cause some extra vibration with this blade. But overall, I, I think they work pretty good. For the trimmer, I'm using the Echo SRM 230. Um, I do want to upgrade this trimmer maybe next, maybe this next season to the 2620. And yes, I still have the guard. I'm just used to the guard. Here's where I keep my trimmer line mounted just so it's easy to get to. It's a 0.95. I don't remember the brand though. And right here, I keep the hedge trimmers. They slide into my the bed here. And this little rack that I built. They're the Echo HC152. So you just open up the tailgate, which I keep locked. And then you can just slide them right out. Um, my blower, I have the tube mounted along the tailgate here and I'm using the Echo PB580T and I want to upgrade this as well, maybe like next fall for leaf cleanups, and, but it works pretty good. It's mounted in the Equipment Defender blower rack and here's my sure cans mounted in the Equipment Defender racks as well. What I love about them is you can just, you know, I can just go up there with my trimmer edger or whatever and, and just fill up and I ain't got to take the gas can out or hold it and all that. Makes it a lot easier. This uh, Coca-Cola ice chest here, um, a good friend of mine actually gave this to me a few years back. And when I got this truck, I was like, man, that's perfect for this truck. So I uh, built this little uh, rack here for it and mounted it. And I just keep like various tools in there and uh, oils, gloves, bungee cords, things like that. The mower, the Wright 36. The only thing I have done to it is the quick shoot. And finally, this is my 5x8 utility trailer from Max Trailers. Um, I picked this up in orange so it can match my truck. I had these wheels on it originally. Uh, I'm using these as my spare now because I added I added these wheels to match my truck. I also added this Easy Gate um, lift assist. <clears throat> Basically just a heavy duty spring inside this metal tube here that this cable's connected to. And then it goes to this pulley and it's connected to the ramp here on the other side. It makes it super easy to lift this gate. I'll show you. To lift it, you can literally just use like one finger. So yeah, that's my 1949 Chevy 3100 pickup truck leave a comment down below let me know what you think about it man and uh give me a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe and turn your notifications on and i will see you on the next one